Olá, Deus te abençoe. Hello, God bless you. Thank God. Welcome to the Life Change Today program. Thank you so much for being there. May God bless you very much. Your home, your family, your day, your week, may it be incredible. It is just starting. Sunday, the first day of the week, the day of the Lord, seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all things will be given to you as well. If the first fruit is holy, the lamp is also holy. Draw near to God, and God will draw near to you. Do it, and you'll see. Sing, please. Draw near to Him without making it complex. Don't make it complex. God's things aren't complex. Talk to the Lord. Prayer. Prayer is not something complex, difficult. When the Word says, when the Bible says, pray continually, it's saying, talk to God. Keep your thoughts on heaven, your mind on heaven. You ask for God's help. Talk to God. As I'm here talking to you, as you talk to your best friend. I'm sure that when you're with your best friend, your family, people you trust, you are comfortable, aren't you? Isn't it? You, you, you are free to be you, to talk. You are free for it. You don't think, what, oh, what will I say? What will I do? No, you're simply there with total freedom, total freedom. So, it's this. Have freedom. Be free. Because to walk with Jesus is freedom. It's to be free. So, if the Son sets you free, set is you free you will be free indeed you will know the truth and the truth will set you free you know he's my abba he's my daddy so i go before him i go to him and i simply have freedom to talk to my daddy to ask to my daddy, right? I will ask for my dad. I see my grandchildren. They speak it a lot. Oh, I will ask for my dad. Ask for your dad. Talk to your dad. Draw near to your dad. That's it. We draw near to people that we love, that we have intimacy, and we don't have difficulty to hug them and kiss them, isn't it? To talk to them. So, draw near to your dad, your Abba, our eternal daddy. Talk to him without making it complex, without drama. In Jesus' name. You know, God things are simple. They are deep, but they are simple. Obey simple orders. Simple things that you have been listening, hearing. Simply go there and do it. What has God been speaking to you? Stop, listen to His voice. Because He speaks, He speaks to our heart. Pay attention to the Spirit's voice and be guided by Him. 
be loved because He loves you. Receive this love. Don't fear anything. Do what the Lord commanded Joshua. Don't look to the right or left. Don't get distracted with foolish things, with negative speaking, talking, with what is happening outside. Stick to the Word. That's what he said. Meditate on the Word day and night. Because, Joshua, that's the only way you'll be able to fulfill. There is no other way for us to fulfill with something that we are not focused on, involved. So the Lord said, get involved with what will work. The battle is spiritual. You will overcome in the faith realm. So it will have a lot of things to distract you. To scare you. To scare. But you need to believe. Be strong and courageous. Meditate on the word day and night. Don't get distracted. Don't be afraid. Don't get scared. Nobody will be able to Stand up against you as I was with Moses. I'll be with you. And the same thing the Lord says for me and for you. As I was with Moses and Joshua, I'll be with you. You don't need to be afraid because I'll be with you wherever you go. God confirms the steps of the, the righteous. Simply listen to God. Trust in God. Pay attention to God's voice. Stop making it complex. Just trust. Simply say to the Lord, Lord, help me in this. Help me in this. I ask for God's help in everything. For everything. Lord, give me understanding, clarity. Lord, can I solve this? Lord, help me to have the right perspective. Lord, I don't want to be involved in things that you aren't. I want to be where you are. Lord, I want to please you. Help me. Help me. Don't allow me to be hasty in moved by impulses. I want to hear you. You know, look, what a simple thing. You can just stop. You are there seated with your cup of coffee, drinking your coffee with your Bible and speaking, to, uh, talk to the Lord. Oh, Lord, help me. I'm not understanding this. Give me clarity. Help me to raise these children. Help me to conduct this, conduct this marriage. Help me to make these decisions. Lord, I want to be involved only with what is in your heart. Lord, don't let me be where you aren't. Lord, what I'm not understanding, what I'm not seeing. Are you seeing? It's simple. You just need to ask for God's help. Father, help me. Live a simple life without complex things. Trust in the presence, in the faithfulness, in the character of our Abba. Trust. He has never failed. He has never forsaken. He doesn't disappoint. He is a present God, real God, faithful, protector, loving. Depend on Him. Totally. Be a, total, be a person totally dependent on Him. And live this life aligned with Him. 
I want to be aligned with the Lord. I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. I don't want to be where everybody else is. I want to be where I have to be. I want to do what He called me to do. And if He didn't call me to that, I don't want it. If He doesn't have it for me, I don't want it. I want what He has for me. I want to be where He wants me to be. Because sometimes people are making many things, but they aren't for them. And we, we are individuals. We were made unique. And we are a part of the body. Part of the body. So I need to know what is this part that I am. And that the Lord will use me. If I am the hand, the foot, if I'm the, the, the ear, the nose. I want to be what I was created to be and be there. Without wanting to be another person coping, I want to honor who is making something wonderful, something great for the Lord. Uh, and understand that maybe... I will never do that, that it, because it's not for me. That's not for me. But I'll do other things that maybe they, they will never do it to. Maybe I'll never be where they are. But I'll be happy being where I was created to be. I was called to be. I must bear fruit where the Lord planted me. I, I must act as He called me to act. So, when we understand our calling, purpose, place, our function in God's kingdom, it's so much peace, so much joy. You sleep well, you live well, you have peace. And I always say that there are two things that are that when I find people sick, emotional or sick, I know that it's missing. Peace and confidence. A person without peace, a, a guilt consciousness based authority, a person without peace, they don't have health. And without confidence, we need to trust in God. We need to be confident, confident people, to have credibility. And it's very good to have people with you that you, you can trust, you can rely on them, that, that you are comfortable. So these are important things for our lives. And we need to build it. And we are not going to build it if we... If we don't seek this foundation to build this foundation that is in the Word of God, we must have a firm foundation that is in the Word of God to build our lives based on the Word, not based on opinions, guesses, on trend, on the trend, trends, but we must know where we should be, where we have to be. And stay there. I think that I think that many times, usually, this is the challenge of our lives. It's you staying in one place and remaining, 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 waiting that it will happen because God is faithful. Right? Every time I read about Joseph, I think that man stayed there. Imagine. Day and night, waiting for something, believing that it would happen, and it happened. When I look at Moses, that 40 years in the desert, 40 years, day and night, seeing the same thing, taking care of his, his father-in-law flocks, until the moment that it happened, the time, the day came, the day of that encounter at the burning bush arrived when his life changed forever. And David, who received an anointing, 
and turn back to take care of the sh the, the sheep. Oh, I received an anointing. I will go to the palace. Now things will... He went back to the same old life. And there he was. It was a time. Many things happened until the moment that he arrived there. Listen, it will happen. Give place to faith. You stay where you have to be, have to stay, be perseverant. Continue to believe. Because it may seem like you're further away from achieving your dreams. You are, you are closer than ever. Seeing barren woman, are you still infernal? Are you still barren? So sing. Enjoy this Sunday to sing. Sing. Literally, with your attitudes, with attitudes of faith. Having good attitudes. Sing, barren woman who has never had a baby, who has never lived, experienced this new, who has never ex lived this experience, fill the air with the song. You who've never experienced childbirth, <laughs> it's in this moment that you show your faith. The Lord, I want to see your faith. Why are you still not living this? You didn't touch it yet. You're ending up with far more children. You're ending up with far more children than all those childbearing women. God says so. You will have more advantage than those who are in, adv in advantage above you. You have more results. You will have more advanced progress. You will do more than them. You will. Clear lots, clear lots of ground for your tent. Go cleaning this. Everybody knows what they can do in the moment in the moment they are living. Maybe you can't leave that, but you can do things that will help to contribute to the fulfillment of that work of that work make your tent large and i think that there is no way of you expanding something outside if you don't expand it inside and god has been working to expand within expand make your tents large your mind expand it spread out think big use plenty of rope drive the tent pegs pegs deep Don't make not even one plan of defeat. Don't speak foolish things. You will move forward. Think big. You're going to need lots of elbow room for your growing family. It may be the family of your company, of the church. It may be, yes. Even generating your children raising your children but you have but you can but you can generate many projects many things that you know we can't even measure it it is impossible to measure but you will need a lot of space this is It is a fact because God has growth for you. The word is about growth. The direction is about, the instruction is about growth. Today, it may, be, it may seem that there is no possibility, but it will happen. You are going to take over whole nations. You are going to resettle abandoned cities. 
you will take possession of great things, very great things. You'll have, take possession of space where you have never imagined. Don't be afraid. You're not going to be embarrassed. Don't be afraid of getting upset, of being frustrated. It won't happen. Continue to believe. Don't hold back. You're not going to come up short. It's not Cleo's word. I'm holding to this board as you. You know, I hear, I read, I meditate. Ah, and really, literally, my heart beats fast. I have physical reactions because I believe in the word. I know that is the truth. I know when God is forming something, He's letting it clear that He will do what He is working to happen, but He doesn't work alone. He count on me, on you, cooperating. So don't be afraid. God doesn't want you afraid, holding back. No, timid. You won't be embarrassed. You, you won't come up short. You'll forget all about the hum this difficult time. You'll forget all about the humiliations of your youth and the indignities of being a widow will fade from memory. Today, it's impossible to measure what God will do. But I say something. God is speaking about very great things, and they will happen. And all of these that you have been living today, it will become testimony. They will become testimonies. You'll be able to edify, to encourage other people. Others will be encouraged. You will fill other people with hope. You'll be able to go to them and say, look, I'm that person, because I say this, unlikely person. And God took my life and he has been using me as that, as that jawbone of a donkey in the hands of Samson to kill the enemies. So I, I have been this jawbone of a donkey in the hands of the Lord that he, he has been able to do incredible things, unbelievable things, because I myself think, my, say, my God, I, I have no condition for this. I don't have mind for this. I don't have it. But God, hallelujah, think big. Because God will lead you for very high places. Think big. Think big. Make your tents large. Because this time, you will forget. You will only remember to testify and glorify the glory of God. You start to sing. Sing while you're not seeing anything, while everything is barrenness. Sing, 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 sing. Exalt the Lord. May from your lips only come out words of praises, of gratitude, words of words that glorify, exalt the King of kings, the Lord of the lords, the all-powerful, the almighty, because God will do. He who began a good work in you will carry it unto completion, until the end. And, the, and he who promised his faithful to fulfill it, he had already opened a new and living way, path. You will see it flowing, developing, and to consolidate. Hallelujah. If you believe, desire, and want to pray with me, prepare something you want to receive prayer for. I'll be right back to pray with you.
Senhor meu Deus e meu Pai. Lord my God and my Father, I pray for it dear life that is with me. And I ask, may this world have rejoiced, embraced this person, renewed their strength, filled them with hope. May it have truly been a healing, a renewal for them. You have been talking about abundant growth, progress, glory. The word is about growth, of development. It's not about lost retreatment. It's about advance. You're speaking about victories, great victories, more than they have ever imagined. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. No mind has conceived what you have prepared for those who love you. Who loves you? Those who guard your word and obey it. You are powerful to do infinitely more than they, infinitely more than we ask and think. That's what you're saying to them, Lord. I will do it. Nobody can hinder it. Trust, trust, trust in my faithfulness and my character. Take your steps of faith. Cooperate with me. Remain steadfast in the faith. Sing by faith. Smile by faith. Declare by faith. Take possession by faith because you'll live. Bless homes, families, all who sent their prayer requests. I consecrate everything. And I agree with all prayers. Cry out. I bind here on earth to be bound on heaven. I prophesy changes, miracles, solutions, transformations, a new time. May they feel renewed, strengthened, healed, encouraged, restored for the glory and honor of your name. Lord, Bless my friends and fellow sowers. I prophesy the gift of wealth, prosperity, and anointing of conquest, and anointing of ten times more. Give a mind of governance, of dominion, wise, in entrepreneurial mind. Give them new ideas, hope, renewal, raise more sowers because we need them. And wherever this program is reaching, may an anointing, a powerful anointing have already taken over each person who is praying with me. Anointing that renews, that transforms. Yes, Lord, may they have received now this anointing in their lives that brings renewal, that transforms, that changes their perspective, that rejoices, that comf comforts them deeply, that encourages, that raises them. I bless your people, homes, families. I take possession of changes of a new time. time. May they believe that this new, this amazing new living path has already been open to them you have new things for them you have growth for growth for them thank you for everything i ask for your blessing i give my blessing and i thank you so much amen 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 thank god the life helpline phone number is 5511 32969449 We are located at 995 Taquari Street in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's where we are today at 9. We'll have the first fruit service for the beloved family of God. We'll give a, a special blessing for all the moms. Happy Mother's Day. May your day be amazing, incredible. I declare a special day for you. I Pray, so may your life be incredible, incredible, incredible. Happy Mommy's Day. I bless you in Jesus' name. May you have an amazing day. Take your family. Bring a guest. Bring your mom. Because it will be amazing. Count on us. And if the Lord Jesus doesn't come back, I will continue here. Talking about life and life change. Have a nice day. Amen.